what's going on here? Oh my goodness. Oh, you're not gonna believe this. Come on, you gotta see it. Oh my goodness. What are you three up to? <laughs> oh my. We're just having fun with bubbles, Mrs. Neve. I can't believe it. We always wondered about what was going on when I wasn't here and when you weren't here. Now we know. You three know we're not supposed to be playing with bubbles in the classroom. But it's so much fun, Mrs. Neve. You know, it does kind of look like fun, doesn't it? Here, uh, can I give it a try? Sure. Okay. Let's see. Ooh, this is fun. Well, I'm getting lots of bubbles. Well, all right. Maybe you can play with bubbles for a little while, but first we, I have an activity page for you to do. Okay, we'll do an activity page. Is it a fun one? It's a fun one. Boys and girls, I've, there's an activity page in your packet this week that has to do with bubbles. And when you get it all done, maybe mom or dad can work it out for you to play with some bubbles too, like our three friends over here. Now, if you don't have bubbles at home, uh, it's kind of easy to make them if you have dish soap at home. That works for the bubbles just fine. And then for your bubble wand, you could go ahead and take some wire or have mom or dad help you. Maybe open up a paper clip if you have a big paper clip and twist the wire around. It doesn't have to be a paper clip, any wire, and make a circle at the end. And that can be your bubble wand too. So, yeah. It is fun, isn't it? And it's the perfect time of year for bubbles. It's better to do them outside. But let's go ahead and take a look at that bubble sheet I was telling you about. Uh, you three remem remember, we need to get our activity page done first. We promise, Mrs. Neve. Okay, well, let's move over to the carpet. All righty. <laughs> get you over here. Right back up. Okay, well let me show you what the bubble page looks like. Looks like this, and you can see our little teddy bear friends are having fun blowing the bubbles just like uh, the friends over there were. Um, on each bubble is an addition equation, and you know how these work. You will take a pencil, and before you start to color, write in the answers to each equation with your pencil. Now, these are all addition equations. Uh, so we're adding, you've got your plus sign there. There are no subtraction ones on this page. Uh, when you're adding, the answer you get is called the sum. So here's one, seven plus two equals nine. Yes, did it win and shake those beans? <laughs> seven plus two equals nine, so you'd write nine in there. You do that for all of them, and the color code is right down here. If your answer is eight, if the sum is eight, you're gonna color that bubble, that's right, blue. And if your sum is nine, whoops, so you can see it, that bubble is going to be mm -hmm, green. You do wanna get to know these color words, not only to read them, but be thinking about how they're spelled because they're gonna be spelling words coming up in a little while here. All right, so blue and green, Seahawks colors. So Seahawks fans, you're gonna love it. Uh, Mrs. Olson would be all over this, right? Okay, now when you're writing in with your pencil, you wanna be trying to go fast if you can. Hopefully you have been working with your addition flashcards um, to help you memorize these addition facts. It's just so much helpful. It's like having the sight words. You don't have to sound out each word every time. Um, you just, you know, you look at this one and you know it's two. Uh, of course, this one's not obeying the phonics rules, so it's good to know that one. But it's like the sight words. You just want to know them. It'll make number stuff easier. And your flashcards, let's practice a few. Ready? Five plus three equals eight. 
5 plus 3 equals 8. Let's do another one. 6 plus 3 equals 9. 6 plus 3 equals 9. And I did see somewhere one in the uh, Shake Those Beans. I saw the 6 plus 3, 1 in one of our games. Let's do another one. 6 plus 2 equals 8. 6 plus 2 equals 8. Now, if you have to uh, count, that's okay. So if you get to one of them and uh, on your paper and, you know, say it's uh, 5 plus 4, and you go, okay, I know I've got 5 on one hand, so I'll do uh, 5 plus 4. And you could count them up. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 5 plus 4 equals 9. But like we said, just be, just be memorizing them too. Keep practicing with those flashcards. So have fun. Make sure you put your name at the top there. When you color in your bubbles, after you've uh, written in all the sums with your pencil, ask mom or dad to check to make sure they're all correct, if, uh, or an older brother or sister. If everything looks good, then you can go ahead and start to color. Uh, I would suggest on this one, uh, if you're using, if you have markers that you want to use, you want to use lighter colors, uh, a light blue or a lighter green, so we can still see the numbers in your and your answers. Um, if you only have dark blue and dark green, I would suggest using crayons and find a, a light blue and a light green in your crayon box, and that way we can still see the numbers. And of course, you can color in the little bears and their uh, bottle of bubbles there, uh, any colors you want. No color code on that part. Have fun, boys and girls, and uh, after you finish your activity page, you may want to head outside and have some bubble fun. Oh yeah, this is fun. Could do this all day, but no, I don't have time. Have fun. See you later, boys and girls. Bye-bye. I love you.